Hey everybody, I'm Andy the Kenworth Guy. Thanks for coming by the channel today. We're down here in Louisville, Kentucky at Mid-America Truck Show. Uh, I am here in front of the Jade Transport 100th Anniversary Edition W900 and in front of the Shift Products booth as well. So we're gonna get into a full detailed truck video on here, checking out everything to do with this truck. So let's see what this is all about. So we got lots of people around here, so I'm hoping to get through this video uh, fairly normally, but it's a very different one for sure. So this is a 100th anniversary edition W900B, uh, one of 900 that Kenworth built for the 100th anniversary. And this truck was almost lucky. The build is 776, almost set triple sevens, but so that's why we call it almost lucky. Tons of modifications done to this truck aftermarket. Uh, let's get into all the details here. So starting out front here, obviously that W900B has that heavy duty big grill, as you can see right there, a lot wider than the W900L. And I just love that mirror all up front there, looking really, really good. Down below we have that bumper. It's customized, modified, looks 20 inches or so, about two inches longer than the standard bumper and it wraps around and it follows the lines of the fender beautifully. All the lighting on it is watermelons with these smoked watermelons. You can see them on the side of the bumper, on the fenders, up on the roof and on the back of the cab, along with underglow all throughout. Looking on the bumper here, this has a Shift Products license plate holder right here. So that actually bolts to the bottom side and sits nice centered where it should be, as opposed to being off to the side. I really like how that's done. Shout out to the guys over at JW Speaker. We got the heated headlights, LEDs up there. We'll go on the sunny side of the truck here. It's a little sunnier on this side. This color is legendary green. So it's got that insane sparkle to it, as you can see right there. Just look at that. We did the century gold in the middle, and then we did Jade's green for the rest of it there with a wraparound. And I really love this new Kenworth lettering that Kenworth has. The new logo is awesome. Love it. This truck is sitting lower. Uh, it's the air is out of the front end. And that's what that's right. There is air ride on this truck. It is aftermarket, and we'll get into how that looks here in a moment. Air cleaners. We have the air breather lights right here and here. Those are from Shift Products, and uh, we got the two. Those are centered in there, and then the same thing on the back side. It's got the single down below, so that's really nice. Some of the originals were a little bit more uh, flimsy. This is a lot more firm. Nice. Nice, nice, love it. 
A whole bunch of stuff were, was done on the exhaust here. So the DPF box was totally changed out and this panel here was redone. And look down there, we got that little Kenworth, sorry, that little Canada flag, the maple leaf there for Canada, just to close that out, that's nice and tiny. And you gotta look on the other side, I'll show you that here in a minute. But this was all modified and shortened. The DPF box was moved forward so that this exhaust could come up the side of the cab. And we got connected exhaust pipes that look straight pipe all the way up to the top and nice miters up top, looks really good. Stainless boxes in the front here, polished end caps, they're aluminum. Those are the factory polished aluminums. And then uh, we have the stainless centers there. Uh, Jade likes to put these on here, the mud flaps, they kind of wrap around a little bit just to keep all that grime from going down the side of the truck. We have cab skirts with lights underneath. You can actually see the lights right there, kind of in the reflection and those light up amber. And we'll show you that in the evening under the evening light. And then same thing under the sleeper here. So those are right there. And these are the one inch. And the nice thing about that, on a W900, whether it be an L or a B, on the DPF side, this is the largest that will fit. And that's because this step kind of steps up. So going with a one inch, it's the, the largest that you can actually fit without it touching or not being able to be installed. So if you want to keep everything consistent all the way around, that's a way to do it. Looks really, really good. Oh, Kenworth also cuts this out for the exhaust double to come up. So the guys at Shift made a panel to go, to go in there and then the bracket for the exhaust to go right through there as well. So really nicely done, lots of detail paid attention to it. The factory exterior grab handles were removed. You can see the stainless bolts that are in there in its place. And before we miss it here, here's the shift turn signals with the smoke lights. We got the fuel tanks underneath the cab, underneath the sleeper, and they're nice and flush all the way across the back end. And then everything is nicely lined up. We got the painted green frame to match the green up on the back of the cab. And then there is, down below here, the underglow lights. Now over here across the way, you can see this DEF tank. That is off of a Peterbilt 320 cab over. And uh, the factory 18 gallon DEF tank was removed uh, so that we could get everything nice and tight underneath with the exhaust. Really nicely done. On top here, we got the Merit deck plate painted. And then there's the uh, pieces that go around it. And we got the uh, above here, your airline box with everything nice and polished. These were changed out. Those are from Shift Products as well. And then the factory lights up on the back of the cab. Inside the, there's so much to cover on this truck. Uh, underneath here is the AG400L lights that fit right in there. Same thing on the other side right over there. And as you can see underneath here, this is Shift Products newest fender design so it is all blind mount so this is their fiberglass it's all blind mount no bolts on the outside nice and clean same thing on the back as well nice and clean and then a nice way to finish it off too there's that little rubber piece and that just mounts to the back of this bracket right there so that's the way to do it just all the details there's more underglow lighting on the back end here uh, so we got underglow lighting, can't really see it from up here, but in the wheel wells. And then we got the tail board back here with those smoke lights as well. Coming around this side, got the Michelin low profile 22 fives. Right. We got the polished rims. Yeah, well, yeah. There's that def tank we were talking about and that's tucked right under there. And that is, gets about, I think it's a nine gallon def tank. Uh, so it is a Packard def tank and it was just used, it was mounted right here with the 18 gallon relocated underneath just to kind of have that clean look so we don't have anything sticking out behind the bunk. Really nicely done. Here's the exhaust. You can really kind of get in there and see what's going on. So we had to move that exhaust pipe forward, sorry, the uh, DPF box forward and then the exhaust and that Y pipe comes out, flex pipe right here and then going up looking beautiful. Uh, same thing with the battery box here. This was all modified and uh, shortened up so that 
the exhaust would clear on the sides here. So lots of work involved in that. Talking about that panel on the other side. So we got that panel here and on a W9B you have, this here is open and I really like what was done here. This gap was filled and then there's the 100 in uh, honor of Kenworth's 100 anniversary and then the Canadian flag because we're in Canada. It's where I'm from anyways and where Jade is from. Uh, this DPF or this battery box is a little bit smaller than the DPF box. Uh, we had to slide the DPF box a little bit further forward, which is why that was a little bit skinnier. But you can't really tell one side to the other side which which one was bigger. The only tell is that this panel there is a little bit bigger than the other side. Just open up the hood here. Show you what's on the inside. <coughs> So underneath here, we got the 565-1850 Torque Cummins. It is the X15 Performance Series. Painted green frame, just like in the back there. We got the Davco fuel water separator. We got the remote lube terminal right there. And then there is the air ride. So this air ride is the same that is put on a Peterbilt long hood and it fits perfectly on a W9B. So really happy to see that. You can drop the air out to have that low stance for truck shows like we are at right now. And uh, we got the positive air shutdown right there. There's a switch in the cab. And everything's painted all up front here to match the frame as well. So really nice on the details, gotta love it. Let me go around the other side, show you a few things there. So under here we got, <laughs> this light's left on. This is actually my work lights that I like to put on trucks and they change them out to have watermelons. So just all the little details, it's the same switch, just change the light out. Gotta love that. And then this is all painted and stainless. So just really nicely done. And then disc brakes on this truck all the way around, of course. Beautiful. So let's, uh, let's go on the inside and we'll finish off this tour. All right, so let's step up on in. And as you can see, there are some panels that were changed out here. So this has a Kenworth 100 badging uh, standard and they changed it out with this etched version. So it's, uh, it's a little harder to see, but it, it says the Kenworth 100 in there. Uh, and they've been, Shift has been doing some acrylic etching and lighting them as well. So just kind of some fun things that they're doing. It's not in production, but it is uh, neat to see. Uh, looking at the carpet format, so these are obviously shift products, carpet mats in here. So those fit really nicely around the seats and the shifter. Over here we have the high level seats here, the premium plus seats, heated, full lumbar supports. And then these are for the 100th anniversary. You can see the badging right there. Red piping all over the seats. And then here is the battery disconnect switches right below. As we walk in here, this is a stock interior. Nothing really was changed on it with a few minor exceptions. Up above here, we have the black VIT interior, the diamond VIT, there's your CB. We have the full gauge package all the way across, full lockups, cruise control, cruise control jakes, uh, auxiliary light switches for all the exterior lights, leather wrapped steering wheel with the red stitching on the inside, 18 speed manual transmission, right here. Uh, here's the interior lights. We'll just turn on the bunk lights for a second. And uh, looking up above, some of the lights were changed out. So these are watermelons inside the cab that were changed out. And then we also have the lights on up here and here that are red, which is really nice, kind of lights up the interior, it goes with the theme of the interior. It's a little different than the outside. We got red on the inside, green on the outside. So on the dash here too, with the 100th anniversary, you have this nice silver weave. So. And then on the door right there, it says 776. Almost seven, almost triple sevens, almost lucky. Which I love that name. Uh, as far as the uh, cup holder here, something neat. This is, uh, Kenworth did this for 100th anniversary. And you know I love Yeti. I've talked about it in videos before. And uh, they have these Kenworth 100 Yeti mugs, which uh, you gotta get. You can get them on Kenworth's store uh, website or you can get them from Inland Kenworth, we sell them too. 
So let's jump in the bunk here. We have carpet all throughout the cab and the sleeper. So inside the bunk, we have this bag, the Kenworth 100 bag. There's the hat, and then we got bedding, it's branded for Kenworth 100, and then all this red uh, blanket is on top. So looks absolutely gorgeous. There is the fridge. We have also some storage up above. And we got this storage shelves running all the way to the back of the bunk on both sides. We have this additional cabinet right here. And then down below is the storage drawers. And that is an option uh, 857 Four zero 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 zero. That's the sales code for that. You got to make sure you have that when you're specking a W900. So otherwise, you're going to get open shelves, even if you order the Diamond VIT interior. So, word to the wise. So that is that is about it. That is about it. So, all right. So that's it for this week's video. It was awesome to be back here. I know I've been away from the channel for quite a few months. It's good to be dialed back in again here. I've just been so busy with family and with work and doing all my truck stuff that I do that makes me a living. I've had a really hard time getting time to carve out to do truck videos. And on top of that, it's been a wait to get trucks like this ready. Uh, even our day cabs, it's been a long time to get trucks ready. So uh, January and February, I was barely delivering trucks, but just getting everything ready to go. And uh, we're gonna have a good year. I'm looking forward to seeing you on the channel more. So stay tuned, subscribe, like this video, and we'll see you on the next video. Have yourself the world's best day.